I haven't even. God, I haven't even played Overwatch in so long. Zoidstein. That is such a name. <laughs> what is that? Zoids. Oh God. Zo Zoidstein. Backslap. <laughs> Backslap. Zoidstein kicks Leafy Lemur and Zuko. Okay, that's pretty good. There was some player from last week that had a name I just could not pronounce. I don't know who it was. Leafy it was Lemur. Lemur. <laughs> And then, and then I gotta remember it's it's locopress. It's not lo lo carpus. It's, it's locopress. I've been calling him locopress. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably gonna forget that, but that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Happens. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then Zuko. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love the avatar. Avatar references. So Ignis says that he's going live. So we might be live. Uh. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. God bless. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, are you, we you see esports? I I don't know. Igneous or are you have you gone live? Can you let us know when when we do go when we're on the action? Oh, so we got stipend. kicks. Zoid's fine. We are we're live now, but timer. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, right. sounds good. Wait, where is he? Actually, is he sending you those notes or where? where is uh, that? is in a uh, voice chat, Gosh. like the text chat for follow voice chat. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I always forget it's a thing. Yeah. Uh, 40 seconds left. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right, we're chilling. <clears throat> we're vibing. Actually, like, let's go. I'm actually kind of half read these patches. I haven't even played Overwatch since, like, the new season started. Ugh. Yeah, I, ha I still haven't really played Overwatch. In <laughs> yeah. I haven't played since they added the lottery. Not quite a year, but we're getting there. <clears throat> going live now all right <clears throat> hello ladies and gentlemen and overwatch viewers of all ages for wildcat and igneous i am jaeger and thank you for joining us again on this doubleheader night of you and i overwatch tonight we have you and i gold versus buna vista so an exciting matchup wildcat how are you doing i'm doing great i'm ready to get into this match and uh, and play some or watch some overwatch rather yeah Excited. absolutely it's gonna be wonderful to see as you and i gold is currently three and one on the season as opposed to buna vista which is two and two currently the map differential for you and i gold is nine and three and buna vista ten and nine so definitely a closer matchup for you and i tonight yeah, yeah, I'm excited to to see how they're gonna kind of how they're gonna match up with uh, Buena Vista. I haven't seen a whole whole lot of uh, Overwatch Gold. I've mostly been uh, let's see, what be the word announcing for kind of purple. So I haven't seen yeah. uh, too much of of them. But I'm excited to see how they they're gonna open up here in this first yeah. match on. I completely agree, of course, while we still got some seconds left. Uh, there are some substitutions tonight. Uh, normally, S-Jet is going to be playing in the DPS role. Instead, as you see on your screen playing the Ash, it's going to be Mr. Sir Claps. And then for the support, who is usually God's Jedi, is going to be Quartz Mage on the Baptiste. So starting off, uh, you and I uh, going to try and push the point here in Busan on control. Yeah, and we also see that... Uh... The Buena Vista tank that kicks coming out of the Ramacho that could be mean some trouble for Exxon on the Reinhardt as, as Ramacho is a pretty, a pretty solid Rhine counter. 
Yeah, I agree. XNL has been really good on the Reinhardt that I've kind of noticed just, you know, from seeing some of some plays, but already it's gonna come down to the first pick, and XNL is the one who is first picked. Goes down by kicks. Playing that Ramatra and Zuko's gonna follow it up quickly with Moonlit and Maxlot taking out low compress. So with this, the first set of ticks is gonna be going for Buna Vista. Yeah. We'll have to see if Yuna's gonna be able to regroup and push in here, because it seems like Buna Vista's kinda setting the pace here in this first round. Absolutely. It's gonna be one of those things where you and I is gonna have to adapt and adapt quickly, especially to kind of the Zoid sign uh ba uh Bastion, Kicks, Ramatra, so we're kind of like, as we see XNL, he's going to go ahead and swap off the Rhine and start playing the mm. Orisa, so it's going to be, be an adaptive kind of game if you and I is going to come out on top here already. Yeah, for sure. Especially with, uh, with Univista playing such a, a kind of close quarters comp there with the Bastion, Ramatra, uh, Reaper, that's going to be something that you and I is, might be able to exploit a little bit as we see Mr. Sir Clips on the Ash here. Absolutely, on quick succession, you and I is going to get this set of ticks over. So a pretty clean qu team fight. Of course, they they were able to get the first pick, and they are going to oppress the attack as XNL is going to take out uh, uh, the little. I, I guess what is it technically called? The sunbeam? I don't. Uh, I think it's pylon. Pylon. <laughs> I think that's what we call it. I'm not 100 percent sure. Right, but but of course the Alari kit is something to look out for here into mm -hmm. this matchup. Yeah, but sure. Backslap is going to take out Mr. Sir Claps, and Ooh. here comes the Backslap utilizing the ultimates and kicks, finding value from the Ramatra ultimate. So good, solid, good use of voltage push. right now from Buena Vista. Solid push there from Buena Vista. Although it is worth noting they did use three ultimates there within the Ramatra Reaper and Moira. And with you and I only using the Moira ult there, they're going to be going in with four ults compared to uh, Univista's one there. And that yeah, could mean a pretty quick flip here. Yeah, it could. And with 56%, you still have some play, but oh no, Zuko taking out Mr. Sir Claps. That's... But that's not going to matter as... Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it will matter because Zuko is going to use the Alari ultimate. And here comes the Ooh. double ultimate kind of combination there from XNL and Locapris, able to find some value, but... Backslap again is going to get a, a double kill and sort of kind of negate whatever you and I was trying to start. Yeah, that was a that was a solid alt combo there, the Arisa Reaper. That had a lot of potential, but I think them going in uh, down a player with Mr. Clips kind of ended up being their, their downfall there. They yeah, and it gets, going in. Yeah, Zuko again, going to get another headshot there on Quartz Mage, this <laughs> Olariel. Just been kind of nutty, and Locapris is going to go ahead and flank around the back, try and get some value taking out the Bastion. It's going to use some of that kits that are kind of wraith away. And with that, you and I is able to pick up a couple skill kills on Zoidstein, Zuko, and Kick. So Locapress Loca finding Press. some value here I'm in overtime. There. So great job. What did you see there, Wildcat? Uh, honestly, I saw a lot, I saw a lot of Locapress uh, applying that pressure going in. And seeing that uh, that advantage with Univista's, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly who went down first there, but Locapress definitely exploited that and managed to get a lot of those uh, picks there at the end. And kind of pushed Univista out and allowed you and I to get the point. Yeah, great, great seeing that you and I here is playing a lot of, you know, very close together. And we see kicks now swapping from the Ramatra to the Zarya. So boo, Zarya. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's a stellar gameplay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just fun overwatches. XNL is going to get the get the stagger there on on uh, Leafy Lemur. So, Locapress again and getting another stagger kill on Zoidstein and Zuko just with little bits of health left, able to run away and not continue the stagger further. But that was a good transition there from you and I. Yeah, for sure. I would I would definitely say so. And sort of kind of like looking at the ultimate, uh, sort of kind of banked up. Univista is going to have three, and we're going to use our ultimate window here. Well, it's fine. Yeah. Getting some value here. Trying to get some value on the disc. Can't find none of it as tons of value comes off of Univista as they utilize all three of their ultimates that they had banked up to push it to another back to overtime. And I think that's going to be map one for Univista. Yeah, looks like it. That was definitely That's a solid first match, I'd say. Yeah. I feel like Mina Vista definitely came out and was setting the pace, and you and I responded and got back to that 99%. Mm -hmm. Just got yeah. a tough, uh, tough falling out there. 
I completely agree, Wildcat. I, what I think it's going to go down to now is going to be the the execution. Um, definitely think that it really set Buena Vista ahead when they got that first tick over, so kind of apply that pressure early. And a couple early picks there from uh, I, who who was the Ilaria player? Was it Zuko? Oh, I think it was Zuko, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Zuko, you know, able to get a couple, you know, key picks. Uh, I, it's going to come down to, you know, who can execute better. and But so far, very well close match. Yeah, yeah. I'm super excited to, as we launch into round two here in Busan. Do you see the Widowmaker from Mr. Sir Clips? Just it's going to be great. Pans out for him. Kind of look to click some heads here. <laughs> got, the, got, the, got the soldier. Oh, it's Zoid sign going on with the Ash. So it's going to be sort of, kind of like a counter sniper kind of way. Oh, as, I, I, I really like this Locapris sort of kind of pick. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, try yeah. try to go with those off angles there using the Genji. Um, already, as XNL is going to go deep in with the <laughs> Diva. Of course, Diva got some uh, changes here with the most recent. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that? yeah. On the on the patch notes, uh, uh, Diva got uh, some buffs, some more okay. uh, mobility. So that oh, that's awesome. going to be interesting to see here. Mm -hmm. As there's going to be a purple thrown out, uh, going to get some value on that, but can't quite execute on the kills as Locapris is going to go down. Zoidstein able to pick up a double kill and kicks to follow it up on Moonlit. And with this, again, another uh, first flip as team kill for you and I, unfortunately. Yeah, that is unfortunate, but it's also worth noting, uh, Univista didn't manage to get the point at the beginning of that fight there, so then picking it up, it's going to not get quite as many ticks there. It's going to give you and I more time to kind of reciprocate here and and push in. Yeah, see definitely. Uh, Look at Pris going up here. Yeah, Look at Pris going to try and see if they can get some value. Get, push them off the high ground, which that's going to be important here. But mm -hmm. uh, it, again, you know, the Sigma with kicks using Sigma, that's his third tank that he's been utilizing. <laughs> so definitely uh, showing the hand today. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Of what they can play, but I mean, it's going to come down to the coordination here with XNL as XNL is going to get D mech'd early, so already on the backhand. But Mr. Surclaps gets the mirror pick on Zoidstein, Ooh. so maybe you and I can capitalize on this value. As it looks like it's sort of kind of like a sheepish kind of push there on the right hand side. Yeah, and not having that Diva is definitely going to be kind of a detriment there. But we just see oh. Mr. Surclaps getting another pick there in Leafy Lemur for Buena Vista. Yeah, absolutely. So Mr. Sir Clap, especially getting solo picks, that's pretty good. But uh, here we go. XNL's back in the mech. Uh, gonna have to pop out the bob there for Zoidstein. Zoidstein able to get the dynamite kill on Locris. Going down early again. Popping a couple of utilization ultimates here as Mr. Sir Clap is going to use Bob. Conversely, Kix is gonna use uh, the Sigma ult and. Uh, just a couple handful of trades back and forth there. Quartzmage able to get the kill on Backslap. Here comes the blade out from Locapris. Gets Ooh. one. Can he get oh, two no. as he dashes in? He gets two. Looking for three on the follow-up. Up the one. You got it. He there you go. It. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just kind of like butt clenched. You know, not, not saying anything. We're like, is he going to get it? <laughs> I don't want to jinx it or anything. <laughs> right, exactly. And with 85% ticked over for Buena Vista, you and I is going to take this. Starts to tick it over, so so clean, clean clutch moment there for Mr. Sir Claps. Yeah, no kidding. There's a lot of ults flying in that last fight from both sides. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At that point, again, you know, it's kind of like who gets the value off of those ultimates, you know? Yeah, yeah. Definitely kind of comes out to that. And in this case, it looked like you and I got it. Ooh, that's a big purple coming from Moonlit. Just can't quite get the value on it as conversely, Zoidstein's going to get the headshot on Locus. So you and I is going to be down one. It's going to be a 5v4, but again, another huge purple coming out from Moonlit. So we're kind of stifling at Univista as they're again, you know, trying to sheepishly pick what they want to go. But Zoidstein taking out Mr. Sir Claps. XNL again has to go back peel for his teammates, takes out Leafy Lemur, and again with a purple as, as the Ooh, health sort of kind of dwindles oh. down. As yeah, baby Difa is the main <laughs> anyway for XNL. It, it doesn't matter. As, <laughs> Basically, <laughs> as Kix is going to get the Locapris uh, pickup, XNL is going to go down as well. Ooh, that's, that's a tough stagger for you and I. Yeah, especially with 97% ticked over, someone's going to need to touch as Moonlit gets rocked Ooh. by kicks and backstab again, picking up the kill on Mr. Sir Claps. 
Quartz Mage has got to get on point fast and doesn't oh, not get quite. there. Oh, but Loki Press did get on. But look, is it gonna matter? Is it gonna happen? Uh, no. Oh, excellent! <laughs> <laughs> Moonlight is keeping this alive on a lifeline. Yeah, Moonlight can't uh, get to sleep on the Bob, and with that, uh, Buena Vista is going to sweep Busan. Dang, that's a that's a tough one right there. Tough. Uh, yeah. Match for you and I. I mean, but but you still gotta be feeling pretty good if you're you and I, you know, you're playing oh, yeah, together. Sure. You're you're cycling through ultimates. I think what it boils down to is kind of like the solo play. Um, it isn't quite coming together in the team play kind of kind of a situation. Uh, I just feel like Buena Vista is sort of kind of doing better at sort of kind of like picking up the value, sort of kind of like after the main team fight, sort of kind of like dwindles. If that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Um. So it's just I, I don't I don't know what do you, what do you think um, going into a hybrid map do you think you want to see Ooh. from you and I I'm not a hundred percent sure to be honest it's kind of all over the place I mean we were talking about earlier with uh, kicks for Buena Vista switching tank so much it is kind of a tough thing just being able to define those matchups uh, going in and also I mean it also it depends on the map a lot so I'll have to see what um, uh, who's picking here? We, you and I picks here for this next one. Um, but all in all, I do think that you and I is doing exactly what they need to do. Um, it's just kind of just kind of a tough matchup. Um, yeah, yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> of course, you know it's kind of kind of hidden looking at that Buena Vista. You know, it's two and two, but mm -hmm. you know the map differential is pretty big, ten and nine. You know, so they so they do push to. You know, it is, since the series is a best of five. Uh, first to three kind of a situation. Yep. It's, it, I mean, they they've been pushing, they've been playing competitive and playing up to their to their opponents, and we can kind of see that here. So it, it'll it'll be interesting to kind of see. Um, of course, I know Backslap has been pretty pretty dominant there in the DPS role for Buena yeah. Vista, but I've kind of noticed that you know, of course, Zuko in, in the first map of Busan kind of got some of those cl clutch uh, picks using the Alari, but, you know, Black Backslap using the Reaper uh, has been pretty devastating. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we saw that, that play of the game there at the end. They've been using their, their ults very solidly. But also, the Zuko and the Alari, I do feel like that could potentially just be kind of a map thing, because if we go into um, a map like, like King's Row, for example, that could be a little bit uh, tougher for a character like Alari, have not being able to have those sight lines as, as it is a lot more constricted. So playing up close and personal might be a, something that Univis is going to be looking for, which we have seen that they're able to do that on that first round. Um, but if it's something that you and I can do, and that's gonna that's gonna be a, a pretty tough competition for for Buena Vista. Yeah, it's gonna be hard pressed to see what kind of hybrid map that you and I gets to pick, and mm -hmm. you know it's yeah. it, it's gonna boil down to you know I don't know if Gold Team what their bread and butter is as per comp wise, but I just yeah. know like historically. Um, just with all teams, it's kind of been a, a rush comp kind of kind of scenario. Mm -hmm. And of course, we did see XNL open up on the Reinhardt. Yeah, I was just gonna say with... that they're Reinhardt. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's uh, like kind of kind of what what they want to try and do. Which, if that's the case, then then definitely King's Row is gonna be the play. But yeah. I, I don't I don't know what the ban is gonna be from Buena Vista. Yeah, I'll have to see. I wouldn't be surprised if they, they come out with a, a King's Row ban, um, as they do. That is a pretty popular match, but it looks like we're going to be going to uh, Blizzard World, actually. You know what? And, and that's going to be interesting. That's going to play more in the hand of Zoidstein, who's been playing the Ash very mm -hmm. well. But yeah. conversely, you know, Loka, or excuse me, uh, Mr. Sir Claps, uh, Ash, was, was kind of, was really good. They, they kind of popped off. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and, and Locapris, if if they can get like another good hit scan going, um, you know, I, it, it'll be the case of that. So it looks like we are switching sides. Uh, Buena Vista is going to defend first, mm, so okay, so they are switching sides. Um, yeah, so you and I is going to attack first. That's 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 kind of interesting. You kind of don't see that coming from uh, down one. Yeah. Um, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, but again, you know, uh, uh, Star Head Chef, Dark Lana, 
<laughs> obviously cooking up something here in the back. So maybe talking with the team, trying to figure out <laughs> what's I gonna. Mean, I believe it. Gonna I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, also, I was gonna say that. Um, oh gosh, who was it? Uh, Mr. Surclaps on the ash there. Um, I was also talking a little bit about the the Ari pick. I do feel like we would we are gonna see. Uh, quite a bit of precision-based characters, snipers, things like that. And Mr. Street Clubs has definitely come out showing their their sniping chops. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we saw some more of that. Could be another point-and-click adventure game going into this this next game. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to get in here. Yeah, and kind of while uh, we're getting this all ready, um, let's sort of going to talk about these Overwatch patch notes that came out on oh, yeah. Halloween. Sure. Uh, that was pretty interesting. I mean, we sort of kind of saw it originally initially with XNL playing the D.Va. D.Va mm -hmm. has a, and like I kind of mentioned, uh, Fusion Canyons, the movement speed penalty is reduced from 40 to 30%. As opposed to the Micro Missiles, projectile speed has increased from 40 to 50. So uh, mm -hmm. sort of kind of like a movement mobility there and Micro Missiles. But as we were going to fill time with that, uh, here's Blizzard's World. Uh, Ooh, perfect. Yeah, so can you, uh, Wildcat, since you used to play on the <laughs> Overwatch team as a uh, tank player, what what would you go kind of uh, on the first attack? Ooh, uh, personally, I, most of the time when I'm defending, although they're on attack here, so most of the time when they're attacking, rather, I generally go Orisa just because that's what I'm comfortable with, but I, that is just kind of a rush character. And that could be something that could be filled with Reinhardt. Or we'd see here XNL going on the Sigma. Not bad choices, especially Sigma on this map, this point specifically, because of that, uh, that little, what's the word? Oh, I can't think of the word. Little sniper's nest, I suppose, for the defending team up there on that choke. Uh, so having something to counteract uh, a sniper uh, for you and I would definitely be something that they would want to put value into, and Sigma's really good for that, just being able to put that shield up there and defend any sniper shots. Mm -hmm. uh, is not it something pretty... <laughs> something you definitely want. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, there's definitely some value to it, especially as we see here, uh, Mr. Sir Claps is going with the Widow. So that is interesting, you know, kind of kind of going out into the first attack. But, I mean, it's definitely doable. And again, you know, uh, something might be cooking here for you and I. It's going to be coming down to get pushed off that first choke or start kind of rotate around as already XNL is going to go to half health as some utility is going to be put up there but here comes the rock for XNL trying to get some value from that added again poking a back and a fourth again backslap kind of harassing there with the turret able to take it out and a nice solid rock coming out from XNL here utilizing the statue working around so I kind of want to see who's going to kind of get the first pick is it seems like both of these teams are kind of poking trying to feel out what they want to do yeah a lot of a lot of poke damage going out here and also interesting choice on the uh, on backs up on the torbjorn there something i haven't seen yet this series um but we'll have to see if it, it ends up working out here so far it's just kind of been uh putting that that uh was the word chip damage kind of in the back line there as we saw the turret in the corner um so Alrighty. he definitely has put in the work there's not no value coming out of it but i wouldn't be surprised if we see a switch off the torbjorn as this match progresses yeah, absolutely. I mean, Torbjorn's really good on that first set as we see Kicks taking down Mr. Surclap, so you and I down one. Big. Yeah, that is going to be a big pick. And and as we see Moonlit now already has a several set of ultimates, XNL going to bring out the uh, Sigma ultimate. And Moonlit Ooh. finds some value taking out work there. Leafy Lemur, but three members of you and I go down just, and it's unfortunate. When you get that first set pick again, you know you and I initiating again with some ultimates when you're down a player. Mm -hmm. uh, it's dubious execution, but you know they they yeah. they're utilizing ultimates. But yeah. conversely, you know, uh, Buena Vista does have uh, uh, three ultimates. Going to be four yeah. here soon. Really five there, that Sigma. But yeah, that is definitely some risky business. Uh, uh, letting an ultimate fly if you're if you're down a player there it can pay off and there definitely are parts where it have paid off um although we do see zoidson getting the, the two piece there on both Ooh, yeah. Sir surclaps comes a little bit more there yeah that's pretty ultimate. nasty there already yeah. kicks getting the sigma ultimate there zoidstein again takes out quartz mage so but they did utilize two 
uh, a three? Three ultimates? I think Did three ultimates. Yeah. There was an Alari too, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's a case now with a minute 30 left to play. You and I has about one or two more team engages going into this. Of course, you got uh, the May ultimate and window. Mm -hmm. So there's sh there could be some value. They just got to execute fast. Yeah, I feel that May ult is could be a game changer. You guys will see. You and I go. Yep. Okay. So backslap able to get some value there. Get some zoning as you and I is kind of pressing through the choke. Here comes Loka Press and the backstab one v one. It's gonna be. Moonlit, who comes in and gets the steal there, so good use Moonless here. Uh, but you and I able to get some different splitting up Univista. Oh, there you go. There it you know, is. Kind of cleaning up here, and looks like they're going to get on point. We'll see if they'll be able to capture it. But with 40 seconds left here, they're definitely going to have to if they want to. They want this have to continue. Yeah, kicks it was like kind of able to. baiting out there for a second. Maybe he was going to try <laughs> and push. Bit. Maybe he wasn't, but. <laughs> But you and I is going to take first point, so very doable. But backslap, still staying on that Torbjorn, so kind of kind of interesting there. Also worth mentioning, uh, Locapris didn't uh, actually have to end up using that nail there to get that point. Yeah, yeah. So be, so save the utility it. for you and I. Yeah, definitely. Of course, looking at the ultimates here, four almost going to probably be four for you and I compared to the three for Univista, so definitely uh, winning the ultimate. Game. Yeah, that's a big part of it. The numbers game there on the ult. Already see uh, the professional come out. Yeah, Zoidstein gonna try and get some value. Mr. Surclaps gets the visor, gets the kill on Zoidstein while he was ultimately. So getting the stagger from Zoidstein, that, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I like to see true. that. Ooh, another big stagger on uh, kicks there by Mr. Surclaps taking out, you know, Univista's tank there. That's a tough pick for, for Buena Vista. It's a very, very good job for you and I managing to get that target. Uh, targeting kicks there and picking them out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it, it was good, good setup play. Um, of course, XNL is going to keep applying that pressure, trying to keep, catch Zuko out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when you have that, when you have that stagger, you got to keep applying that pressure. Absolutely. XNL is going to try and use the Sigma ult. Can't get any of the value from it. Zuko's gonna use the Alario and finds XNL oh. instead. And on point, it's gonna be Blizzard. Oh, they did get checkpoint too. All right, how about that? You and there I able to push through uh, Zoidstein getting frozen as Zuko's gonna pick up Mr. Sir Claps. But again, you and I with 245 left to play on the last stage, you know, it, it's good. It's It's been good. And XNL is mm -hmm. gonna swap to the Zarya. Boo, I don't care if he's on our team. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> if, I mean, it works. If it works, it, it works. You know what? It, <laughs> it's, it's, it's also Zarya. <laughs> yeah, it's also Zarya, you know, and you get a lot of value. It's a high charge XNL pushing right through uh, the team, going right through the uh, backslap ultimate using the, yeah. the uh, liquid magma, trying to zone out. <laughs> Can't quite get anything there. That was Zoidstein. a little weird. Wow. Oh, okay. gosh. While well, they're pushing in, uh, applying that pressure. Definitely it worked out, but they kind of started getting a little melted there. Yeah, now with two minutes left to play, you and I, you know, they got they got one or two last pushes in them. Of course, Moonlit uh, gets caught out there. And again, another ultimate coming out for window as you're down two. Ooh. But Mr. Surclaps gets back slap. Mr. Surclaps again trying to find that value. Reinhardt now coming out for the kicks for Buena Vista. Trying to, to counter something. <laughs> 100 percent sure. Probably just to get off that uh that Arisa Zarya matchup, to be fair. Sorry is a pretty hard count to do that. Alright, Mr. Mr. Slaps with the visor. Gets one. Gets two. He's looking for three. The Wraith coming out for backslap is gonna get the follow-up. He does! Wow! <laughs> nice shooting there, Mr. Sir Claps. It's almost another pick on XNL. Alright, Mr. Sir Claps. Or not on XNL uh, kick, excuse me. Uh Gets the, I, isn't that kind of interesting that it, that we got XNL and kicks like three yeah, letter the, X's. The three letter. <laughs> <laughs> and with this, you and I <laughs> able to take round one for a full push through. All right, That's you good. and I. Well, there you go. I was just about to say too that uh that last point on Blizzard World is kind of a toughie. That uh that corner.
can definitely be a run killer for for people that are kind of going on their own there. And uh, mm-hmm. you and I kind of just managed to, to push through it, just slice through it like butter. Yeah, so good on them I mean, for that. I mean, uh, some some of the points that I kind of want to want to make clear that uh, you know the swap from XNL uh, to the Zarya definitely helped. You know, kind of like mm-hmm, you mentioned, sure. Wildcat, about applying that pressure. I, that was a high charge Zarya almost that entire third point, and Mr. Sir claps with the clutch. I mean, that was <laughs> that was yeah, pretty honestly, pretty nasty visor, that was a pretty insane visor. <laughs> definitely, we're getting that staggering, and right when they needed to at the end there. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, I did kind of want to spotlight um, XNL applying that pressure. That's something that you and I tanks I've noticed this year, both uh, XNL for here on Gold Team and Roadkill for the for the Purple Team. They're just insane pressure appliers. I've seen. Mm-hmm. Like they know when to go in and when to back out. It's 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 pretty innate for them. It's it's a pretty pretty wondrous to see. I'd say. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one thing. You know, from a tank player to a, to another tank player, taking that mm-hmm. space and you know, uh, knowing to you know be with the team or know when to 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 take space and add value. At, that's so important as a tank player. Yeah. And you and I yeah, have it mastered is. it to a T. Very good. As we see the. The first fight of the second round here in the second game. Yeah, Get underway. You, you and I is gonna have to hold for about three minutes and forty seconds if they can do that. And already Locapris going with the the Maywall block, but uh Bunavista is gonna take the take the road for the long way around. <laughs> <laughs> As they're gonna try and get past the choke there. Kicks with Ooh, the Diva's gonna be caught out wall. there. And what Quartz Mage looking for the 1v1 on the back slap. <laughs> oh man, it has to use Dis to get Oof. out, but for not Zuko taking out Quartz Mage. That's tough. That's difficult. Yeah, that is. I mean, when the Reaper gets up in your face, there's not much you can really do other than fight or play. Mm-hmm. And being up on that high ground, not wanting to give it up. Sometimes you just gotta fight. I mean, if you have the disc, might as well. Yeah. So. De- definitely immortality. It, it, mm-hmm. it, it's a. It can be a a, a game changer. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Mr. Circlabs picks up the kill on Zuko, able to get that right click, and here comes Mr. Circlabs again. Zoidstein taken out, uh, or gets taken out by Mr. Circlabs. So again, you know, stifling, stifling here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, <laughs> what what could be, uh, you know, two minutes, thirty seconds left. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. still hasn't even gotten the tick. So uh, you and I looking to reset here. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely gonna burn some time off as Beanie Vista is gonna be resetting. Um, as we also see, I believe it was uh, Zoidstein switch off the Widowmaker off to, onto Sojourn, uh, which I think is a pretty solid uh, switch there for Beanie Vista. As you and I isn't really playing the long game, they're playing Soldier May, nothing really sniper esque, so playing a little more of a close range character like Sojourn is a, a solid pick, solid switch yeah. there for Beanie Vista. Yeah, uh, right now looks like we're gonna get a Kiriko Ooh. mirror. Uh, Already, just so many just ultimates being ultimate thrown line. out. Holy. Oh my goodness! And it's valued <laughs> for uh, all the way around. And here comes the bomb from Kix's Diva. Can't find any value. Moonlit takes out Zuko though. That's value for you and I. Zoidstein <laughs> goes down. Mr. Clap popping off. Can he get another? Baby Diva on the ropes goes down by Quartz Mage. Holy! Uh, there's at right. least like oh god, I don't even know what ults were there. I saw May Kiriko. Uh, Diva, uh, Make some Kiriko, Diva, uh, goodness, I, uh, Lifeweaver maybe. Lifeweaver or, or did Lifeweaver so. swipe swap swap off of? Uh, uh, oh yeah, I think you're right. Um, goodness, uh, yeah, the Ana Z- Zuko was playing the Ana, and now playing the Lifeweaver. So yeah, yeah, that's what it was. And some so changes up set. there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Moonlit also also playing the Moira now. Yeah, so so tons of. Going out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, speaking right. of switching off, uh, kick switching to that Ramatra to counter the the Sigma. Yeah, that's it's gonna be interesting. Gonna have to play around it, kind of a deal. Yeah, yeah. Kind of going along with uh, Buena Vista's whole close range uh, kind of comp they're switching to here. Yeah, we definitely. The last thirty seconds of the game here. Yeah, definitely a high powered rush composition as you and I mm-hmm. definitely has the ult advantage. XNL is gonna pop. A fat thing. Oh no, but Backstab's gonna get some more value added with a double kill on the Reaper Ultimate. And, but XNL and Locapris able to pick up the pieces of what was you and I. And a 
Here comes Zuko, can't get value from the Tree of Life in 10 seconds wind down. Trying to contest with three to two. XNL again fighting on point. Mr. Surclaps with the ultimate. Trying to get some value there. XNL gets the kill. Freeze comes out for you and I. More value, more time as overtime ticks over. Moonlit gets a double. How about that? XNL picks up on backslap and you and I full holds on Blizzard World. Holy, <laughs> that last fight was a little, <laughs> little high octane. <laughs> I know, I haven't fast talked like that in a long time. <laughs> no, you're killing it. You're killing it <laughs> well, what what did you see from that Wildcat as I was kind well, of <laughs> <laughs> I'd say both teams are pretty pretty dang warm. They've they've warmed up from that first uh, game on Busan. Um and I mean you see here, Mr. Sir Claps, there was some kind of insane alt usage from both sides. Oh, absolutely. There were some crazy alts. There was a lot of uh, a lot of alts that flied. I, mean, I feel like once one person used it, kind of it just kind of waterfalled from there. Um, and a lot of them did end up getting pretty solid value. So the, the alt usage, so far, in, honestly, in this entire series has just been a lot of fun to see. <laughs> oh, 100%. I mean, just like clutch plays coming from both sides, really. I mean... I mean, yeah. Backslap's been pretty good. Zoidstein, of course, you know, the counter picking has been just, you know, I, I was, I said it in the, in the white, uh, team, uh, uh, game. And I'm going to say yeah, it yeah. here again. It's, it, it, Overwatch is essentially like a game of chess where, you know, you, you have an opening hand, you mm -hmm. pick some, uh, then you got a counter pick and then you counter pick the counter picking. And yeah, then yeah. it's just, it it's, a, it's a whole thing. And what it boils down here is definitely you and I did a better job in execution uh, and, and following up on some of those, like, like very needed ultimate usage. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, is, that is one thing I do really enjoy about Overwatch is it is a game of, I mean, it's a first person shooter. It's a game of, of skill like that. But there is just like so many like kind of mental aspects you have to keep in the back of your head. Like who's down for each team who has the ults, like uh, what characters is everybody playing and i think that that kind of secondary mental aspect is just what kind of makes overwatch so special it just makes it a whole lot of fun <laughs> yeah absolutely so tying the series up one one so again oh, yeah, true yeah so it's the best of uh, uh, first to three best of five kind of scenario next mm -hmm. time uh, uh next one we're going to a flashpoint of course so the rules have changed a little bit for those of you who do not know it is going to be uh, the loser of the last map gets to pick the flashpoint. So there's no banning. It's just picking. Hmm. And we're going to go to Servasa. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah. I've only seen Servasa so far in NECC. I have not seen any New Junk City. I so. uh, we, we saw New Junk City at the white team. Really? Uh, matchup. Yeah. And it was a, it was a, it was Fuck a <laughs> breath breath of fresh air. Yeah, I would imagine uh, so. <laughs> As uh, as uh, before we get this started, I just want to shout out Cindy Lou's Barbecue and Gosling and Company PC for being our sponsors during this fall season for UNI Esports. So shout out to those local businesses supporting local esports. And also want to get a shout out to our merch. If you want to go down mm -hmm. to the bottom, click on that merch tab. That'll take us straight to tons of T-shirts, jerseys. Anything, you know, Christmas is coming around the corner. So if you want to get something for your gamer in your life, got some options. So Servasa, Ryder, haven't seen New Junk Street yet. Oh, yeah, seen a lot of Servasa. And I mean, honestly, I, I was kind of talking about it a little bit earlier. I haven't played too, too much Overwatch. So I haven't gotten really a chance to, to play a lot of Flashpoint since they've added it. Mm -hmm. um, most of my Flashpoint experience has just been from watching the NECC matches this uh, season. Um, but from what I have seen, I do think that the, the Saravasa points compared to the New Junk City are a bit more varied, a bit more interesting in their layout, which I, I do appreciate. It makes it a lot more fun to spectate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, absolutely. Yeah, it also kind of switches the team compositions up a little bit. Yeah, I see both teams coming out on Junker Queen. Yeah, JQ enough. opening hand. And then I also like the mirror of Backslap and Locopress doing the Reaper. Oh, true, we, yeah. We've mainly seen Backslap see the Reaper. We haven't seen Locopress really play the reaper oh, yeah. um, into the to the first so already on the first point centralized point first to three uh in this uh in servasa already so 
interesting set of compositions we see as poke damage comes out. Locapris gets the mirror on backslap. So you and I Ooh. definitely with the advantage and the flip tick now. Or er, sorry, did I get that? Oh no, I was right. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is another thing about Flashpoint. It does tick a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> That's something to keep in mind as we you and I already oh, have twenty percent yeah. here. Wow, yeah, already in this first initial team fight still yeah. going as it's sort of kind of prolonged here, but Kicks able to get the knife throw on Moonlit. As Moonlit was trying to go in for, <laughs> for a kill there or something. Oh my. Jumping around. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the can going down for Mr. Circlap trying to get some additional healing. Picks up the kill on Zoikstein. Ooh. Leafy Lemur goes down as well. Good Mr. Circlap's getting the double kill and kicks. Gets downed by Locapris in that stellar Reaper play, already pushing out Buna Vista. And that's a strong first point now already for you and I. That was an interesting team fight, to be honest. That yeah. felt like that team fight lasted a really long time. Just because people kept getting back. And I mean, like, it flips twice during that. And that was still technically the first team fight. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it was yeah. prolonged and already 75% now for yeah. you and I. It's gonna come down to this last team fight, last team engage. Let's see if um, we start seeing some of the ultimates fly. Right, yep. So Pfizer and Window coming out. Mr. Circlaps gets the value on kicks. That's huge for you and I. They're gonna go ahead and keep on pressing. Uh, try bait through those series of choke points. Alrighty, so net first flash point going for you and I. Alright. There you go. Looks like we're going to be going into the second flash point with uh, a few ultimates there. I think three or four for the side of Una Vista. Uh, and also, similarly, three, four, you and I, as you and I starting to kind of push through here and get to this point early. Yeah, definitely a momentum swing, kind of steamrolling, able to get the first three on Una Vista, kind of on that first touch point as uh, seven seconds kind of rolls over already for you and I, and the pickup on Sir Claps on Leafy Lemur, that's a good stagger there. So they're going to get a, yeah. a confirmed cap. And like you kind of mentioned earlier, Wildcat, the mm -hmm. point does take over a whole lot quicker. So already um, you and I on the forefront. That is one of the interesting things about Flashpoint is that kind of transition period between points. Because uh, it just it can honestly just go all over the place. Oh, oh um, wow, look at you oh, and I wow. able to pick up some <laughs> ultimate usage there. XNL able to utilize the Junker Queen sort of kind of ultimate there, followed up by Locapris, and again, a team kill coming out for you and I this time. How about that? Well, jeez. <laughs> 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 I suppose with the, some insane plays from you and I there. But yeah, that very solid uh, push there, but uh, oh, God, that was insane. Um, something, something... Oh yeah, the, the transition period between points. That that is something that is very interesting. And being able to initially get that point and hold it and get so many ticks off is such a big point of flash. Uh, big part of a flash point. Something that isn't really a part of any other mode. Yeah, and as kicks goes down, as Loker press sort of kind of falls, we see kicks now swapping to the Reinhardt. That's kind of interesting to see, as well as Zoidstein swapping off the Fara going to to uh, Bastion, and that's sort of kind of interesting here. Loker press. Just going right in the face of Zuko, taking him down, and no siree as time, overtime takes over. That's going to be a second flashpoint for you and I. Yeah, you and I is definitely kind of showing their chops on flashpoint here. Oh, you see a sick teleport there from Locapris. <laughs> 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 Love that. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really showing up here and managing to, to hold those points. I mean, that's exactly what you need to do. But uh, this yeah. is, is kind of a... Isn't that, <laughs> Far cry from the, the Busan match at the beginning of the series. Oh, I'd absolutely. Say. Like you kind of mentioned earlier, Wildcat, definitely a warm-up round. Like, like Busan, mm -hmm, Busan sure. doesn't count. For Busan? No, <laughs> Honestly, <forget> yeah. <laughs> Might as well just be 1-0. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's already as the point sort of kind of ticks over. You and I is going to be the first one there. And again, poke damage coming out. Uh, try to base something out. XNL is kind of going for a little side flank off to the right. And with this, going to try and rally his friends as Univis is going to touch point. Gets a nice pull there on the Moira. Oh, oh. All right, so double kill coming from back. Backslap, triple even, picking up Quartz Mage. So good ultimate usage, but you and I has ultimates to give and some time to spare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely have the old advantage going into this next team fight. But yeah, Backslap has been been showing up with those uh those reaper ults. 
shit. Yeah, that, you that, you <laughs> his, back slap <laughs> is a very good reaper. Pretty lethal. <laughs> yeah, I, I will admit, you know, give credit where credit's due. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of reaper, also wouldn't be surprised if we see Loki Pris letting it fly here potentially. Yeah, absolutely. He's definitely looking for here. it. Oh, for sure, yeah. Oh, and here comes a hammer out from the window past. And that's a fat shatter. Has to be out moonlit on the beat. As two of you and I goes down, Zoidstein able to pick up the dynamite kill on Locapress. And that's just going to be a reset. Uh, of course, couple ultimates coming out for you and I. Uh, both support ultimates, but that's that's still doable. 78%, mm -hmm. you and I has to engage now. Yeah, yeah. If they're gonna have to, and I, I mean, they have the Soldier Reaper, potentially Junker Queen here. That is, those are both, or all three of those are pretty solid uh, engagement ults. But it looks like they're not gonna, not gonna quite push on as they just get ready for the next point here. And honestly, I mean, if you have the 2-0 advantage, I mean, it's not nothing wrong with uh, just, yeah, just letting it tick down, getting the Absolutely. advantage for the next point, and then just Absolutely. take it. <laughs> Absolutely, and you, you, you have an ult advantage going into this first initial engagement, which, mm -hmm. which is all right. So here we go. XNL is gonna utilize. The ultimate going to the back line gets Ooh. pinned and stunned, trying to run away as best he can. Zuko and Backslap take out two members of you and I yet again. So momentum slowly shifting now for Bruna Vista. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I, I'm not sure. Was it just the Junker Queen out there? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. As we see, also see uh, XNL switching to to match the Reinhardt. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm here for okay. it. I'll see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ego fight, ego fight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh. <laughs> no, but I, I definitely XL's shield game on Reinhardt and Sigma both. There, he's he's pretty impressive on that. Yeah, I have, I have to, to agree with that. I mean, it is a, it's a, it is a good mirror match, especially you know when it mm -hmm. yep. basically boils down to you know uh, ground and territory kind of being taken, and and you got to play close, especially in these close condensed maps. Mister Surclap's able to pick up the visor kill on Zoidstein. All right. And of course, that that baits out Leafy Gleamer able to use the Moira ultimate trying to push back, but Locapris double kill. It is. All right, so you and I already pressing ahead. Locapris able to pick up on the Zuko, so mm -hmm. uh, Locapris again. All right, <laughs> and that's the momentum you need right there. That uh, that initial pick from Mr. Circlaps there, and then the cleanup from Locapris. That is what you absolutely love to see. That's the, definitely the push they needed as as Buena Vista was kind of getting into that that third. Uh, uh, last yeah, they, they, were, they were kind of like at a at a clutch mo moment of like yeah. uh, kind of like momentum shifting and there was any time to push in that was it yeah they, exactly. they managed to execute yeah, exactly as X and L is gonna have shatter here of course we have a quartz mage with the, the boost there for the Alna Ana ultimate and moonlit it's gonna have hers conversely backslap Zuko and Kick's gonna have their ultimates probably by this next team fight. Backslap already utilizing the ultimate. Backslap gets taken down, but he already has value added for it. Moonlit's gonna use his ultimate. Makes Zuko have to use the Zenyatta ultimate. So mm -hmm. Zenyatta getting some value. Kick's able to pick up the find on Quartz Mage. XNL only the only one now. And Kick's with their ultimates. Bob even coming to use. <laughs> coming to the party. Yeah, absolutely. Enjoy, enjoy the party late, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I mean, that's going to probably, unless you and I can find, you know, maybe a combo with the Shatter and the Ana ultimate, um, that might be game is 96, 97, maybe, maybe they might give it up. No, here comes overtime. It's going to be oh, pushed in. Does it, go, do it does it get that pick on Quartz Mage and Moonlit? Both of you and I supports are down. That could be yeah, trouble. Yeah, that is going to be on the back foot there. Is Zoidstein is going to find that and Locapris is going to get solo shattered and that's, that's going to be a team kill so momentum shifting slowly as we're going to go to the final point Oof, interesting really making us <laughs> sit on the edge of our seat here yeah i'm, I'm kind of sitting here it's like okay so the series is tied 1-1 one, one. we're tied 2-2 <laughs> two, two on the flashpoint it's basically going to come down to this you and i as mr sir claps Locapris, and quartz mage as the ultimates Banked. Conversely, for Buena Vista, it's going to be just Leafy Lemur going into this next team fight. So if you and I can get some ult usage going and the point to first initially take over, that's going to be huge. Yeah, definitely for sure there. Although, Locapris does go down there from backslap. That could be the push yeah. that Buena Vista needs. We'll have to see. As, although, oh. they do let that Memoir ult fly. 
Uh, Mr. Sir Claps gonna get slowly ticked down. Goes down. Headshot by Zoidstein. XNL goes down as well. That's just, uh, man, that's that's tough. Backslap gets the follow up, so it's gonna be a full reset now for you and I. That is pretty unfortunate, but I mean, a little reset here. As we also yeah. see XML a reset here. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if that's more along the lines to counter backslap since he's, you know, kind of been, been yeah, the thorn in the yeah. side. I wouldn't be surprised. We have seen a lot of uh, backslaps pulling up here for Buena Vista. Um, with um, you and I play some, playing such a close quarter comp here, uh, minus maybe the soldier here, but he, he can play pretty close quarters. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you got the you got the healing can too on top of that. So so if mm -hmm. you're playing really close, that definitely get some value here. Seventy percent now ticked over for Buena Vista, and here comes the push. XNL trying to get the the bait out. Zuko Ooh. utilizing that backslap again. Who's been the clutch player for Buena Vista all night? Gets a double and another team kill. So you and I try. That was just very solid. I think that uh that transcendence kind of messed them up near the end because they they needed to push in and get picks there. And that transcendence just prevented them from doing so as they, they got near the end of that game. Yeah. Just so, kind of I mean, not much you can do about that. <laughs> no, there, there isn't much you can do. And that, that's just unfortunate, you know, because there was some really good clutch plays, really good teamwork from you and I. And it's just, you know, when it comes down to like the, the individual clutch moments that we kind of watch Overwatch League for, you know, it, mm -hmm. it just slowly or kind of favored um, Buena Vesta. So, I, I mean, that game. yeah, I mean, definitely. I wish, I wish I had advanced stats that I could look and be like, like you know, <laughs> you nice. know, first pick to to team yeah, fight win. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that would be absolutely lovely if we had that. Yeah, uh, but, but yeah, that was that was a fun game. Definitely, that was. I mean, we talked about it a little bit that <laughs> the, this series has gotten pretty warm so far mm -hmm. after that that Busan game. It's been honestly just a whole lot of fun to watch. I'm excited as we finally get to see some push. I haven't seen a whole lot of push this uh, NEC you know, season, so yeah. and that and, and push, believe it or not, conversely, I don't know if this is a hot take, but mm -hmm. I do like push as sort of kind of like a, a map or, or as a mode. Right, yeah. yeah, and and mm -hmm. it's just because of the simple fact that you know when you get into circumstances like this, you have one team, or actually you have two teams who you know kind of has momentum in the favor. Of one yeah. another. Well, the simple fact is, is that whoever wins the first team fight, conversely, the other team has to go and win two team fights after that. Mm -hmm. Coliseo, okay, interesting. I don't like Coliseo as a map, but I do like push. And let me explain <laughs> more why why I like push. It, mm -hmm. It's just the simple fact of the matter is, is you know when you have such momentum shifting games like this, when it basically boils down to, you know, who can get the clutch plays, who can shift the momentum for the other team and just you know just the way that coliseo plays and you have to have mobility it, it does kind of play heavy into sort of kind of like the rush composition that you and i likes to play mm. but you know i mean it is it's just it's such an engaging game to watch i fully agree with you there i do feel like a big part of why like the general overwatch community doesn't really love push too much as a mode is because a lot of them play just like quick player competitive mm -hmm. and then with things like that when it's not like nearly as evenly matched as something like necc it does tend to swing and just be a lot more of a walking simulator for one team oh, absolutely. um when you get into something like necc when the teams are so evenly matched and they have so much momentum going against each other it makes push so much more fun to watch Oh, 100 percent and of course it's going to boil down to uh, like i kind of mentioned it's going to come down to that first team fight who's going to mm -hmm. get the first pick and then who's going to steamroll from there and kind of push the momentum of course then that could maybe switch into like maybe walking simulator like you kind of mentioned Wildcat. <laughs> yeah. but but you know conversely if you and i is the one who loses the first team fight you know they got to win the next two in succession and that is what's gonna, you know, who, who's gonna, who's gonna clutch? Who's gonna clutch? Is it gonna be Mr. <laughs> Sir Clap, Loka Pris? Is it gonna be XNL? You know, I'm here for it, man. I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of push, so excited to get down here, get down to business. So we Absolutely. see a pretty standard team comp coming out from both sides. Pretty solid comfort. I feel like we've kind of gotten to that point in the series where it's just kind of getting more about, about comfort, and knowing that they can play these characters against the other team. 
Yeah, I really do like the comfort picks. Of course, Moonlight going back to the Ana Quartz Mage going on mm -hmm. the Kiriko. That's a pretty solid duo here. As already initially, first pick out damage coming out. As Moonlit is going to heal her team. And already trying to find the Sleep Dark. Can't find it. Of course, you know, now with uh, that... Uh, uh, grenade is on a 12 second cooldown, so a bit of a nerf, you know, instead of 10 seconds. So, is that going to play a major part here? Of course, look, Chris playing the May, so trying to get some zoning, trying to catch somebody out, and already now XNL's low, so got to use the Suzu to kind of get him out of there already initially, and it's still pretty even now with a minute already ticked over. Uh, no picks quite yet. Yeah, no big picks. Back slap oh. picks out. Quartz Mage, Locapris gets down again, backslap, just been a huge clutch player for Buena Vista. Toothpick comes out from kicks, and this is going to be uh, a lost first point, or a lost first team fight. You and I, so you and I is on bad. the back <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ryder. Uh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, again, you know, conversely, you and I is going to have to come back. Here comes the counter pucks coming out. Mr. Sir Clap's going to go on the Bastion and XNL going on the Zarya. Boo, I don't care how many times. <laughs> boo, 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 yucky hit. Boo, hiss, boo, hiss. No boo, yucky hiss. <laughs> but also, we have seen once XNL switches over to that Zarya on the Orisa, the momentum does kind of swing for you and I. So we might see something. We saw that on Blizzard World. We'll have to see if that happens uh, once again. I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, exactly. And, and as we well. see here, XNL, you know, trying to get that value. <laughs> Zoidstein do taking out Mr. Surclax, but XNL picks up the kill on Zuko. Backslap yeah, goes yeah. down. Locapris with a huge kill. Unfortunately, goes down by the head, uh, by the shots coming out from Locapris. So, eh, still, still, you know, pretty even. Buena Vista doesn't have the forward spawn, and I think that's the most important part yeah. out of all of them. Yeah, that's true. With you and I being able to regroup so fast, I wouldn't be surprised if you see. You and I start to pressure Univis as we do see that as Kicks kind of backs up. Yeah, um, kind of kind of make them in. pick that shot, and you and I is gonna take the uh, uh, bot is gonna walk it forward. Of course, conversely, three ultimates. Zoidstein is going to utilize Vision, try and maybe get that advantage going for Univis. That's sort of kind of hard as ooh a big sleep on Quartz Mage. Not gonna get the value added onto it, so sort of kind of missed call out there for. Una Vista, and here comes the ultimate now for Mr. Surclaps. Trying to get some value, trying to get some kills, doesn't find anything. That's unfortunate, but he's going to swip, swatch, <laughs> words, words. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, swap to the turret mode. There you go, words. As, as you go. Here comes uh, Kitsune Rush now for Are you and I, yeah. again, trying to push past that first point, so already so far so good. Catching Buena Vista out as Le Le Lemur goes down. Mr. Surclaps able to take out kicks and XNL taking out backslap. So, okay, there we go. That's why I like push so much. When you have a cool, <laughs> concise, actual team that communicates, you can swap and get the momentum shift. It is a lot more fun to watch. I definitely do agree with you there. As we see both teams kind of in that 40, uh, 40 meter mark with you and I having the advantage here. Uh, as I was also kind of mentioning, XNL switching off to that Zarya did kind of get the momentum that you and I needed, but Kix does respond by switching out to the Sigma off that Arisa, which I do think is a fair switch for Buena Vista. Absolutely, as Zoidstein gets the first pick on Locapris. However, you and I is going to get that forward spawn. So they do get that forward spawn for just a brief second. Is that mm -hmm. going to play a, 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 a point? I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'll just say they are going to be able to take this fight more in the middle of the map, uh, less and less close to their their spawn here. So this could be a quick turnaround if you and I manages to win this team fight. But I don't think you and I is going to get split up here on their spawns. Now it doesn't look like it. No, nope, nope. So they are going to play as a team going back into this mid fight. They do have the advantage on the push by about 16, uh, or excuse me, about 26 uh, <laughs> meters. So so that's that's workable room as Backslap, who's trying to go in and solo off Moonlit goes down by just a whole host of you and I, so that that's a good stagger. That's a good stagger mm -hmm. from you and I. And you and I at targeting backslap. That has been throwing them in you and I side as we've been talking about a little bit. So we see a lot of ults flying here from both sides. Yeah, I, I didn't see what Buena Vista utilized, but X and L able to get some value there on uh, the Zarya grav, so 
Good mm -hmm. job. Good job, you and I. Way to way to go. Way to maintain that momentum, like we've kind of mentioned. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Zway. See you and I getting up to the front of their, their push here. Keeping it going. Absolutely. Retaking that forward spawn, that's going to be huge. If they don't lose Mr. Surclaps, he was kind of down there. Had to kind of had to use the Suzu there. Utilize all the things <laughs> as you're just trying to get that. And here comes Backslap with the charged visor. Gets Ooh. one, gets two, and that's going to be a momentum shifter now for Buena Vista as they get a team team wipe. Yeah, that is that's a tough combo. That that visor, visor uh, nano is is honestly just probably just as deadly as nano blade, depending on whose uh, hands it's in there. Uh, and it ended up working out pretty well for Buena Vista. But similar to that last team fight, you and I be able to take it here in the middle. Right. Yeah. Oh, here comes another whole host of ultimates. Kitsune Rush and Mr. Surclaps using the ultimate on the ba Bastion. But Locapress able to pick up the value kicks with a double kill on the pickup Sigma ult. The Locapress able to find Zoidstein and Kicks able to find Quartz Maze. So again, this is more heavily handed towards the Univista as they are going to try and push again. Again, so you and I does have about 43 meters in the bank that they are able to use. That's still pretty mm -hmm. pretty doable, you know, in three minutes, 26 seconds. If they can just play, you know, if, if they can play, I wouldn't necessarily say keep away, but but get the staggers going as Loka Chris yeah. able to take down. But, but go ahead, Wildcat. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's just like you're saying. I mean, it, it is kind of keep away. They all they just have to kind of keep doing what they're doing. If, if they can push it more, I mean, obviously that's what you're going to go for, but it's been working out. They've, even if they lose, they manage, they manage to take that team fight in the middle, win it, keep getting that push up. Just keep doing that for like two or three more team fights and they're golden here. Absolutely. So again, you and I able to take the value, get the forward spot again. That's been huge for you and I. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Kicks going to the Roadhog. That's an interesting Whoa, pick. Whoa, okay. All right. I'm here for it. Yeah. <laughs> trying to find a hook, trying to find the squishies. And already Locapress able to take out Zoidstein. Kitsune Rush comes out for you and I and Mr. Sir Claps able to take out Kicks. Picks up another one with another grenade kill on Backslap. So five kills player streak now for Mr. Surclaps. He's on fire. <laughs> there you go. That's just a character kind of <laughs> digit in there. I, I also do want to talk about the switch from Kicks to for uh, Kicks to Roadhog. Interesting. <laughs> He's yeah, going into a Bastion. I, you know, I um, just... Mm, yeah. yeah. We'll have to see if it pans De out. But definitely kind of dubious. Tough. As Zoidstein <laughs> goes on the Fara, so definitely Ooh. unconventional and unorthodox team. I mean, fair enough. If, it, if something is not working, gotta kind of switch up, find something that does work. Oh, wow. Look at that grab and freeze coming out from you and I. So they're going to push all the way as Locapris and a whole host of you and I members able to take down three members of Buena Vista. And with that, we are going to a game five. How about Woo! that, Wildcat? I am, I'm pretty excited. I haven't seen a game five in forever, so. I'm very I know, excited. that's pretty fun. Uh, I don't even know what, what we're supposed to do. Let's go to the rule book. <laughs> game gosh, five is an escort. Escort, okay, so, gosh, what would that even be? Um, um, escort choices would be Circuit Royale, Dorado, Havana, Junkertown, Rialto, Route 66, Shambali Ooh. Monastery, and Watchpoint Gibraltar. All right. Okay. I'm interested to see what we go to here. Okay. Well, <laughs> already on it. Uh, Circuit all Royale. Right. <laughs> cool. All right. Just getting right into it. I mean, I'm here for it. Circuit Royale is one of my favorite maps. So I'm, I'm excited to see some of that gameplay. And I'm interested to see what these teams actually like respond with. Because I, I can't imagine the they practiced a whole, whole lot of, mm -hmm. of uh, Escort compared to things like Hybrid and, and Control. Since they usually don't go th get this far. <laughs> Right, exactly. I mean, yeah. uh, as right now we're, we're seeing the tick over to Busan. I'm like, I don't, I don't think they can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of wrapping up or kind of looking back at that that push map. What would you see, mm -hmm. right? Or what'd you like from you and I? We're we're going to a game five, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited. <laughs> no, but yeah, you and I. I mean. They were doing exactly what they needed to do. I, I can't really critique them too much because you were talking about it, that, that keep away. And I think that was honestly what they were doing. A good chunk of that match was them just pushing it up to that checkpoint, getting it pushed back to middle, and then just kind of that back and forth, which, I mean, we were talking about that. It is a lot more fun. It, it is a lot more back and forth. It's not quite as much of a steamroll on um, the games like these. But you and I was just like 
they were they were playing a solid defense game uh, during that push, and it worked out in their favor, and they managed to get it all the way to the end there. So good on yeah. them for, for recognizing that. I mean, and, and uh, also there too, you know, not to say that BVU didn't try to, to yeah. try and counter. Because there was like a couple times where Buena Vista just absolutely steamrolled, got, I think, what, at least one team kill out of that whole scenario. But it's just mm -hmm. the simple fact that you and I was able to, you know, bend but don't break. Because I think the mm -hmm. huge thing that played in you and I's favor is that when we finally got the first, you know, our first two series of team fights won, we were able to get the forward spawn. And I just, I just think that's just so much, you know, you know, advantageous for you and yeah, I going into those too. later team fights. Yeah, it is exactly what you want to see on something like push and it, it worked out for them pretty pretty dang well. <laughs> um also it looks like we might be going to watch point Gibraltar instead of Circuit Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I don't well. think I've barely seen any I've barely seen any watch point Gibraltar in like collegiate like in general, even like last year. We didn't see a lot of it. I, you know, and it, it's not a lot of people's favorite maps. Yeah, um, that is true. And, uh, but I mean, conversely, if, if you want to get down to the brass tacks of it, Wildcat, I think the whole reason why they're picking Watchpoint Gibraltar is more along the lines to kind of play into that pseudo kind of, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what kind of kind of play would they play into it. Because I feel like we would have like maybe Circlaps on the Ash and mm -hmm. then Locopris maybe on the Reaper because definitely second point watch point would definitely yeah. favor favor a Reaper. Yeah. A more but um and also Igneous if you're watching, make sure you flip the teams again because I just noticed that they flipped again. So, um <clears throat> oh, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, so so what what's your <laughs> thoughts going into a watch point? Gibraltar G game um, five game five excitement, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun I mean first of all game five that barely ever happens this I is know. big match point for both teams and also watch point Gibraltar uh map we don't get to see a whole lot of uh so being able to see these pretty fresh new strategies we've barely been able to see uh from both teams it's gonna just show their chops here um, being able to adapt to something they assumably haven't practiced a whole lot and it's just gonna come down to a lot of just intuition and being able to play as a team so I think it'll be a pretty a pretty rough fight. I think it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Absolutely, you know I I feel and not also I want to kind of highlight that you know I, these are the best that I've seen these teams play like mm -hmm. all season, which oh, is sure. awesome to really see. I mean it's definitely like high tier um, moments. So here we go, game five, NECC week five. Ooh. You and I versus Buena Vista. Big plays. Who's going to clutch it out? Is it going to be XNL and the UNI Panthers? Or is it going to be Backslap in the BVU? It's just, it's so exciting. I'm so excited, Wildcat. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. As we see, uh, I think you and I coming out in the defense first. I think so. Yes. Yeah, they're blue. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, we'll to see what they open up on. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, I, I mean, kind of defense, especially on second point, maybe... The Torbjorn, but as we see here, okay, Mr. Sir Claps playing the Ash, XNL on the Sigma. I, I, I respect these. Locopris, I'm not too sold on the Genji because we see against the, the, the loss that you and I had, Locopris was playing the Genji. I'm not, I'm not too sold on that flanker, especially with how well they've been playing together, but uh, it's doable. It's doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And then conversely, first time that we've seen, again, kicks. Just the ace of all trades now coming out with the Winston. So that's like the the fourth or fifth yeah, tank so. <laughs> we've seen him play. I'm like that. Buena Vista playing more of a dive comp into this. So yeah, interesting. We haven't seen uh, any dive from either team that this uh, this series. But with a map like Gibraltar, it, it works pretty well. So if if Buena Vista is able to to execute on this, that this could be in trouble for you and I. Absolutely. So mistimed. Uh, rock coming out there and already two go down for you and I so it's going to be the case of trying to stifle out the dive as two members of you and I goes down but here comes the reply from XNL taking out backslap XNL taking out Zoidstein can he get a follow up and Locopris does so okay okay you and I able to pick up three conversely two trying to catch a couple players out 
Oh, and a nice little sleep out. Gets the pick up on Leafy Lemur and Zuko. So a nice stagger from you and I. That's a huge stagger. Taking out both supports there for Buena Vista. That's big. I mean, and, and, and think about the comms too. I mean, think about that. That kind of coordinated dive is like two members of you and I kind of went in to push in on those. So <laughs> yeah. excellent job. Yeah. And already Backstep is going to try and wraith up, try to take the space away from you and I. Again, kicks. Try to use that Winston play. All right, I see you, man. I see you. But <laughs> conversely, you know, Locopris is going to try and look out for that Zoid sign. Uh, so we're kind of, yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. Mr. Sir Claps goes down playing that bat Bastion. So here comes the dive now from Kix. He's going to try and find value. He's purple. Takes out Quartz Mage, and he's going to get out. So so that's a free dive on Quartz Mage. Yeah, that's, that's kind of tough for you and I. He's, it looks like Univista might potentially get this first checkpoint. XNL trying to contest, but doesn't quite find it. No, that, it's going to be interesting there. And of course, OK, OK. So, so that's, some, that's some value from you and I. Bait out Zoidstein's or kind of the Tracer Bomb. Um, doesn't get the value on it and gets staggered because of it. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So definitely some value there. It's going to be basically coming down to, you know, you and I, you know, historically hasn't done well on a defense against a dive comp. So it's just yeah. going to be playing that uphill battle here. It's going to be pretty tough. And once again, kind of going back to that Genji pick for, for uh, Loka Press. I'm not... I'm still not entirely feeling it, especially with that Winston uh, being able to reflect that uh, and things we see the backslap ult right. come out. Also, uh, sorry to interrupt, but shout out to you, NC. We are in a three minute delay, but shout out for the raid. So thank you for the six folks nice. for coming in and hanging out with us as we are in a game awesome. five. Oh game my gosh. Five. Joined at a very, a very good time. <laughs> Already, so Luca Press able to get Woo. two on the blade. Nano blade. Wow, all right. Well, I guess I'll eat my words on that if I get you. But yeah. Yeah, he's gonna find that value. That's, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Go on Loka first there. Hey, man, you, you, you're out here, you know, trying to find some value. <laughs> some great value. There you go. All right. <laughs> oh. All right, so 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 far so good. Poke damage. I I do not like how XNL's kind of like out in the open. You know, you yeah. know he is protecting the payload, but you know with just the flexibility that Kicks has, is there's a purple Zoidstein and he goes down with a dash by Locapris. XNL's gonna get slept though, and Mr. Circlap's able to pick up the kill on backslap. So okay, okay, very doable. You know, normally the second point phase is kind of like a momentum roller for the attacking team, but we don't see that here. Yeah, yeah, that is something I've kind of noticed on, on Gibraltar. Second point, there are certain maps that second point definitely favors either attack or defense, but this is pretty evenly matched so far. And Univesta was kind of rolling there, that uh, first checkpoint, but you and I is kind of finding that momentum as we do see uh, backslap for Univesta switching over to the Echo. Interesting. Uh, as well as Zoid's on the Fair. I don't know if they were playing Fair before. I don't think they were. Uh, No, they weren't playing Fair yeah. before, but we've seen it far uh, in the, the series before. Mm, yeah, so far. As well as that uh, Sigma switch from Kicks. So yeah, definitely switching true. up that team comfort being just Okay, okay. So they're trying to go into a more kind of like a poke push kind of a yeah. series. Definitely favor in the air as Leafy Lemur is going to try and get out the Kitsune Rush, tries to get some value from that. Can't quite get it as Kicks and Zoids are actually they do. Kicks and Zoid is going to take out Mr. Sir Clap and Moonlit and still trying to push that point. Zoidstein again picking up Quartz Mage, so more members of you and I goes down. XNL finally gonna go out. I'll come down to Locapris. And for not. As Ooh. Backstab is gonna get the get the pickup. So with this, a pretty steady push coming out for Buena Vista. Yeah, that is uh that's a pretty tough one. I mean they, they switched up the team comp and it paid out for Buena Vista, so yeah. have to see if you and I how you and I responds here as we do go into the third. Third point, a lot more open, so that's honestly going to favor Buena Vista even more with those flying characters. They're going to have a lot more room to operate. Yep, so it's sign. Tough. Yeah, taking out Moonlit, so it might be the case of maybe a steamroll kind of situation here. Um, definitely you you and I trying to find the answer with 245 left to play in this hold. XNL is going to use the Sigma ult. Gets the Kiriko. Gets the Kiriko! And Locapris able to get the blade on Zuko, so no supports for Buena Vista. And with this, Zoidstein gets slept in the back line. Looking for a stagger now for you and I. Caught out in the back side of the point. Way to go, you and I. That's exactly the answer they needed. Well, there you go. 
And they're able to execute, able to use their, their ults there, the Sigma and Genji ult. Uh, get those initial picks, and then just kind of keep rolling through there. So, get on them there. As That's we also good. see the Nano coming up from Moonlit. That could potentially be another another uh, game changer. But Kix, Zoidstein, and Backslap all do have their ults for Vina Vista. It is going to be kind of an ult game. <laughs> so you can see a quick pick from Moonlit on Backslap. All right. I, I know, and we, we even watched that point. That was a good flick shot, too. I mean, yeah, honestly. Shout out to Moonlit. Like, good job. <laughs> yeah, way to go mechanics. Mechanics operator, Moonlit. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Uh, but Zuko does uh, find Quartz Mage, so uh, just, you know, trading. It's a trade. It's, it's doable. Go back and forth. Yeah, absolutely. But Kix gets <laughs> gets knocked out trying to go into the ultimate. Can't quite Ooh. get it, but Echo going to use the ultimate. Copying Sigma, trying to get a Sigma ultimate. Can't get it. 39% and slept on top of that. And Zoidstein's going to pick up Moonlit, though, so definitely a favor heading for Univista, they're gonna try and seal the deal with Kitsune Rush. You and I, Ilaria ult, get some value. Glocapress takes out backslap conversely. Zoidstein gonna get the headshot on uh, Mr. Surclaps, but you and I holding strong with a minute two left to play. And they have the ult uh, respawn to favor. Also, you gotta think that into the matrix. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of back and forth so far. This fight's been feel like it's been going on for ages here. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. Zoidstein able to pick up the kill on XNL and Backslap able to pick up Quartz Mages. Um, gosh, I would you would you would you call it earlier? Hey, what the what? Oh, the the, the little turret there that a lot. Oh, had. the oh, what did I call it? Uh, the, the pylon. The pylon. Oh yes, yeah. pylon. But Zoidstein <laughs> able to use the bot picks up low compress. Who cares about pylons? And Zoidstein's gonna take out Quartz Mages. And already XNL swapping to the Ooh. Reinhardt, so definitely a comfort pick here is more members of UNI goes down now with less than a meter to go from Univista and 13 seconds to boot. Zuko takes out Mr. Surclaps and Mr. Surclaps is in trades for Whoa. Beefy Lemur. Woke up press water. Whoa. Oh. Uh, oh two that was intense final fight. That was an insane like last minute and a half. Yeah, so holy. Yeah. Talk, talk us through Wildcat. What'd you see? I don't even know what to say. I mean, it was that was a lot of. I mean, we're in a game five here. Got a super high pressure, like high octane last minute and a half. There, that's the kind of stuff that you absolutely love to see in an easy And yeah, that was that was so much fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it was just like trades on trades on trades, man. It, it was, was insane. Like... <laughs> And I mean, like at the beginning of that fight, that that payload was right in the middle, so it was both the respawns were pretty evenly matched. I think you and I kind of had a bit of an advantage, just getting back a bit quicker. Um, but it was like there was just a long team fight. People were funneling back in, back in. It didn't seem like uh, either team could like fully just down the entire other team. So it just kind of kept uh, kept rolling there. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just one of those things where you know it all boils down to execution and, and clutch plays. I mean, you could mm -hmm. go, you could you could bring like a like skip in or like a GM player and be like, okay, these are the intricacies of you know why they kind of win the team fights. But what it really boils down to, like we've kind of mentioned already, Ryder, it, it it boils down to you know momentum and clutch plays. Yep. And, yep, and sure. just whoever's been having the better clutch plays for any given team fight, that's who that's who's been winning, and it's just. You know, who 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 knew whoever got the best clutch plays was going to win the team fight and going to win the game. So yeah. it's going to come down to you and I to see oh, if they can, can make some clutch plays of their own. So it just makes it so much fun to watch. I love that. I mean, like, we're just talking about the whole momentum thing. That's why it's like two to two. Both teams have had so much momentum tonight. It's just been so fun to watch. That's what's kind of led us here to this game five. Yeah, and the game five. Who, who knew? Who knew? Who would have thought going into this, right? Honestly. But I'm here for it. Yeah, XNL is going to try and uh, copy the initial Winston as he's going to try and go back. He's going to try and push him off the high ground. But here comes Backslap as he takes down Locapris. So definitely an added value there as uh, Kix is going to go with the Reinhardt. But you and I making progress. They're getting past the underneath part of the uh, sort of kind of push here, but you know, to no avail as four members of you and I goes down in quick succession. So, so kicks able to come out with the clutch plays, but you know, doable. Three minutes left, and you're kind of past the the important part. Yeah, I was just gonna say that is kind of unfortunately down there, but they did need they did get up to where they need to get. 
And X and I kind of recognize that switching off the Winston to a, a bit more of a comfortable Reinhardt, since I don't really have to jump too, too much on the high ground here. But they're going to be pushing up to the stairwell. Ooh. No downs quite yet. That might change here in a moment. Alrighty, so mm -hmm. Locopris able to take down the pylon. Locopris picks up the headshot on backslap. Okay, okay, so that's value. You and I has got to push. XNL is going to go in. He's going to get slept and purpled, and he's going to... Oh, Kix is going to go down. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at the wrong player. Uh, Quartz Mage <laughs> able to get a pickup on the double kill with Leafy Lemur. XNL again, so here comes you and I able Whoa. to get first point. All right. That was a sick fire strike from XNL. <laughs> Good job, a bit of a snipe there. Get him the second check. There you go. Oh, and here comes the, the miss Reinhardt dodge. Right? So, okay. Okay, ego battle. Ride me ride. <laughs> let's go. I'm here for it, man. <laughs> well, yeah, let's go. Final match has just had just had everything you want to see in an Overwatch match. Absolutely, man. I just, you know what? This is probably going to go down as my favorite favorite game of the season. Yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> so far, it's, it's getting there. Alrighty, so, and now nice. looking at the ultimates. I didn't even think about the ultimate usage. Here we go. Oh, Moonlit yeah. Quartz Mage. Backslap and Zoidstein already using the Bob. Kits is going to have Shatter and Zuko is going to have the Ilaria ultimate. Conversely, it's going to be another ultimate kind of usage kind of game. Zoidstein able to pick up a double kill. And with this XNL with the charge, how about that? Able to pick up a double kill. Backslap picking up Moonlit though. So you and I is going to be down a handful of people. But XNL, it doesn't matter. Takes down kicks. And with this, you and I is going to have a nice clean push through second point if they can confirm it which they do, XNL goes to take down Backslap. All right, you and I, a clean second point. Well, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of processing all that. <laughs> just, just want to point out the the Nano Rhine Shatter, which Kicks responded by shattering XNL, who then got Suzu'd and got up, and then XNL managed to take out Kicks there. It's just it's such a cool interaction. Yeah. <laughs> that was it, insane. It, it, like counterplays like that, like oh, fuck it. that. it's huge. And like all of that happens in like three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> God, that, these players—they're the they, they're insane with this. All right, yeah. So here comes Zoidstein taking out Mr. Sir Claps. Okay, so the first pick, but definitely uh, ultimates can go either way. I mean, it's still anybody's fight. Is you and I is going to come back? Oh, but here comes Kicks. He's going to try and uh, try and push out, get the space made for BVU. Zuko is going to take out Moonlit, so definitely you and I on the back foot. But hey, they got four minutes to work with. It's just build ultimates and then, I don't know, ult them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> it works, it works. <laughs> Some clutch plays that we were talking about. Yeah, it's, I mean, like I said, four minutes left. You and I have a lot of time to work with here. And they're already kind of starting to push halfway through this third checkpoint. If they get it all the way, they're going to have a lot more time than, uh, than Buena Vista. As we go into around three, if they're able to, if they're able to get it here. Let's yeah, see. if they, if they can, if is the if, major yeah, question that's, that's here. Smoker Prince is able to pick up a double kill into the double Kitsune rush. Zoidside picking up Moonlit and conversely kicks, able to pick up XNL. So that's unfortunate set of circumstances there for you and I as several members of the team trade. But BBU is going to come out on top this time. As we see, do see uh, a few of the ultimates kind of starting to get up here from both sides. Kicks uh, Zoe Tone and Backslap as well for the side of Una Vista as well as XNL for the side of UNI. and I. would be surprised if we see a few ults fly into this next fight. All right, Zoe Tone's going to gonna initiate. There's the hammer. No value, but Backslap is able to pick up the kill on Mr. Sir Claps. And conversely, XNL and Moonlit go down. So, okay, okay. So, so, so far so good on a good hold for Una Vista, as you and I is gonna quickly get out. You know, kind of looking at ultimates again, Backslap and XNL as their ult ultimates. I mean, yeah, yeah. Una Vista did burn two of their ultimates there. So, I mean, might as well just get that quick and out of the way, get regrouped and ready for this next team fight as we're kind of winding down to two and a half minutes here. Absolutely, if I was XNL, I'd be looking for a sort of kind of like a shatter somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe try and push past can. the Rhine if you can. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is like just the DPS. Oh, Mr. Circlap's able to get the headshot swapping from the Sojourn. Let's go. Mr. Circlap's 100% charge trying to find another headshot. Can't get it. Zuko is kind of dazed out. Here's the shatter coming out from you and I, and you and I is going to push. Big purple coming out from you and I. As Backslap is going to try and answer to his own through the window and the visor. 
using that back corner, can they get it? 0 0.05 to go for you and I as they contest, and they get it. Ooh, that was a little nerve wracking. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. I'm, oh, I feel my heart you? pumping right now. It's just like, yeah, man. This is an insane game five. This is an insane and, and, series. Yeah, think about it. So now you and I has an additional minute and 47 seconds. And when you have momentum shifts that like this, depending on where that happens, you have an additional, you know, one to three team fights, mm -hmm. give or take. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, who get writer. Wildcat, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what's going on? Get, 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 Gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, that was a that is honestly we were talking about it. That was exactly what X and L needed to do there, getting that shatter. Plus the nano never hurts from from moonlit. And honestly, that was kind of what won them that last push there. It got them up to where they need. And now as we go into this this round three, they do have an extra minute forty seven uh, that they're going to be able to use to push and get up Ooh. to uh, however far Buena Vista gets here, uh, which right. with them only having one minute, that could be. It'll be pretty tough for BB. We'll have to see yeah. how it pans out. Exactly. And so sort of kind of set it up here. Wartburg College Mustang Varsity 4-0 on uh, the season. You and I is sitting in that comfy third spot. So if they can get a win, mm. go 4-1. and one. They are definitely in playoff contention if you kind of want to think about this way. So definitely stakes on the line here. Yeah, this is, this is uh, a game that you and I definitely would be favorable for them to win here. Absolutely. All okay, right, underway. so you and I does get the benefit of defending first, so they know what they need to play to. Zoidstein able to take out Low Capris, so with this, Kicks is going to go in, but he's going to pay for it. XNL on the Sigma. Mr. Surclap's taking out the disc from Zuko, and Quartz Mage picking up Backslap. So kind of interesting, kind of initial hand, conversely, from what we've seen from... Um, Buena Vista, and with this, wow, you and I is pushing on the gas, but kicks Ooh. taking out the Mr. Surclaps with the fire strike. So that's that's gonna be you and I on the backhand now. You know, of course, because the respawns definitely favor Buena Vista. Yeah, yeah. Also, I'm gonna mention XNL was just we we're trying to talk about it earlier in this series, but just XNL applying that pressure, something he's very good at, uh, and managed to get out there with the help of uh, the you and I supports. And because of that, bottom enough time for you and I to get back in here, potentially right. put a stop to the Univista's rush here. Oh man, but Kick's able to take out XNL as he was kind of caught out. And so no front line now for you and I as overtime kind of takes over, kind of looking for this first tick. If you and I can get a hold here, that would be huge for the defense. Knows how to answer, but they don't get it. So Zuko able to pick up Mr. Surclaps, and that's a clean first round mm -hmm. for Buena Vista, Zoidstein able to pick up the, the scatter, or excuse me, the um, um, uh, the stagger on mm. Moonlit, yeah, yeah. so. But, mm -hmm. So you and I were grouping here. Eventually might be able to put a stop to them here in this uh, second checkpoint. Excellent on the way back. Definitely gave Buena Vista the most trouble here mm. on the second point, so kind of looking for that here. Zuko going to use the window. Sigma ultimate coming from XNL. Does he get value? Whoa. He does. He gets a double kill. XNL finishes with the rocket. He keeps on pushing. Moonlit able to take out Backslap. One more member for Buena Vista goes down. And that is a good, solid second point and very doable for you and I. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I think you and I used all of their ultimates there at the end. I saw Nano Visor. I saw the Reaper all kind of coming out near the end there. And then the, the Kitsune... Uh, Grab a gravitic flux from from XNL also. I mean, yeah, that's what you need to do when it's overtime, and mm -hmm. you just have to just put a stop to them. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter where. Just right. letting every ultimate fly. I mean, at that point, you might don't. There's no reason to conserve them. Just let them fly. Absolutely, and that's exactly what you and I did. Absolutely, Wildcat, and I completely agree. And it's basically going to come down to a point of who who can get ult charge first and who can mm -hmm. ult dump first <laughs> is, yeah pretty you know, much of course of course and then you can go into the gm is like well in this instance in particular you know utilization yeah, yeah. of the blah 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 i don't <laughs> care about that what i care about is who's going to clutch who's going to get the ultimate charge first and who's going to utilize it you and i did an excellent job you know in their first initial push able to go through and you know get the cart where it needed to be they of course you know Unifista answered and then they were able to push through a full hold again. But like you kind of mentioned earlier, Wildcat, 
we have a minute 47 of pure gold. And in a game five situation, it means everything. Yeah, that, that time advantage is gonna it's gonna pay dividends for, for you and I. <clears throat> we got underway the Symmetra TP from you and I, gun on the All high right. ground. Oh, but Backslap able to get the pick on Sir Mr. Sir Claps, so that's gonna be a huge Oh, Zoidstein able to get the grenade kill on Moonlit, leaving XNL back. So he's he has a choice. He either needs to stay up there, wait for his team, or fall back. And I think he's gonna try and stay there. See if Buena Vista is gonna try and force him out, which they don't. So Mr. Sir Claps, Locapris going on to the Reaper, which is I, I like this pick. I like this. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. as they're going to try and push through Leafy Lemur on the Mercy. So they're going to have that res. They're going to have that extra six potential quick spawn coming out. Zuko's uh, lamp goes down. So that, that could be value added for you and I as they get the sleep mm -hmm. on kicks. So here comes Mr. Surclaps and Locapris able to try and push out Zoidstein. But hey, Locapris picks up Zoidstein and no one. Locapris again, finally. Univista kind of drops on point, trying to look for that contest as you and I gets it past the point of where they need to go with a minute 38 left to play. That was tough for BV. They kind of got split up there. The their, uh, Leafy Lemur and, and Zoidstein in the back there and getting staggered and picked off. And it looks like that was that might be kind of the downfall for this first checkpoint for BV. Yeah. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Yeah, you and I. Good for you and I. To, <laughs> yeah, you and I needs to push it 61 meters to get the win. They know their win condition. They know how to get there. Locapris picks up Zoidstein. Locapris has been a, a very good Reaper player all series long. And with charge ultimates starting to come into play, Mercy, Leafy Lemur, picking up the ultimate. Backstab, who's down half, goes down, can't use his ultimate. Here comes you and I. A lot of ults. A lot of ults Ooh. coming out. Mr. Surclap, Locapris, picking up two. Back Sir gets it, and you and I does it. You and I wins it in game five. Holy, that was an insane game. Props to you and I. Way to execute there at the end. That's exactly what they needed to do. I mean, wow. it was kind of a repeat. That just that old dump at the end, it wins games. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, you know, GM, you know, you could talk about the split and how you oh, and man. I kind of did that, utilize the <laughs> ultimate. Nah, it just comes down to who's going to press Q first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. I mean, when it gets to that nitty gritty, when it gets that raw, bare knuckle fighting, I mean, it's just, yeah. I, I just feel like I just saw, like, George Foreman take on Mike Tyson, man. I, that's just <laughs> like, like fight after fight, just round oh, after man. round. And you and I comes out on top. That was insane. That was such a fun series. I loved it. Every ounce of it. Oh my god. <laughs> top it off with an insane game going to a round four. We love that. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. Are, are we able to do um, player interviews? Are we still doing that or no? Uh, yeah, I've done a few player interviews. We can, we can get somebody in there. I know they might be a little tired after that. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, yeah. I would understand. Um, I'd be a little excited. We can catch them when they're pretty excited. Right, who, yeah. who do we want to get in here? Anybody specific? I don't really care. I'm going to message Star right, um, yeah. and see if we can get one going. But, man, how about that? I just... <laughs> I just oh, dude, just come on, man. Oh, it's so that so that's so why you watch. That's why you watch NACC. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the kind why. of games like to watch. That's why you watch you and I gold team, man. They, oh, for sure. Uh, they're doing... Okay. You're doing some. Uh, so we got the choice <laughs> of Michael or XNL. So who would you like? Uh, we can get XNL in here. See how they were doing on the, on that tank, that tank yeah. on uh, versus kicks. I, yeah, see absolutely. What they were thinking that, after that. Wow, gosh, and you and I did it five to four. Oh my goodness. As I'm <laughs> as I'm making my notes here, gosh. <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of looking at that. Busan, Buena Vista sweeps two zero. Next. Uh, you and I gets a full push and then a full hold in Blizzard World. Conversely, Buena Vista goes 3-2 at the, again, map 5 or, or point five in Flashpoint. And then you and I comes back from a push in Coliseo. Kind of had a control just all throughout. Oh, oh, we're doing, we're doing both. We're doing oh. both Michael and XNL. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Heck yeah. <laughs> and you know, um, after yeah. such 
such an amazing why not right why not yeah yeah it's so so exciting pretty special occasion yeah and then <laughs> and then of course like we just saw there um escort goes to five and four <laughs> on, on the Jeez. total team count so geez all right so while we're waiting for our players to do the interviews of course shout out to our sponsors cindy lou barbecue and gosling and company pc without their support you and i wouldn't have been able to play in the nncc or the necc it's just the simple fact of the matter is is that you know uh, we have our entrance fees for all teams and you know for some schools especially when uh there is a cap put on funds it it can be difficult for some teams to try and join the necc but cindy lou barbecue gosling and company pc were able to help us out and you know make that a possibility for us so shout out to our sponsors also if you like i know christmas is around the corner merchandise merchandise is also available but as i say that uh i have with me mr quartz mage and xnl gentlemen how are we feeling after a game five win i'm feeling phenomenal yeah it's amazing <laughs> Fantastic. So kind of going in uh, first initially, you know, going into the team fight or going to, after map one, you were down Busan, you got completely wiped and then you come back and sort of kind of full hold Blizzard world. Can you maybe talk about um, sort of kind of like your mentals as you kind of progressed, you know, in that roller coaster of a game? Let's start off with XML. So going into it, we knew that the Ash was going to be an issue. Uh, she was definitely hitting the shots and so we needed a map in which we could just find a way to play around it and on hybrid it is very difficult to find a map that ash isn't good on um when I, the team just felt most confident on blizzard world and so we said okay last game is in the past we got to go forward and it was just a complete mental reset and not looking at all in the past Absolutely. Kunrad? Yeah, it was just not even thinking about that first game at all. Just playing. It was a, just like Sigma. Yeah. I, it's just pretty basic Sigma. Book them. Play, play the high ground. If they push us too hard, just pull back. Yeah. Wildcat, you got any questions? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll butt in here a little bit. Um, so I was going to ask, because we went, you don't really see a whole lot of uh, Game 4s, let alone let alone Game 5s <laughs> in, in NECC. I think and since I've been at UNI, I've only ever seen one, and it was last year, and that was when I was playing. And I remember kind of the mentals during that, just being like a, quite a bit of frayed nerves, just a lot of nervousness going in. So I just kind of wanted to ask what your your feeling was going into that those uh, extra games. Just like how how did you keep those mentals stable? How do you keep your spirits high uh, as a team? Uh, so there was one point at least uh, on uh, the last map that you could see the entire team literally stop in our spawn and just look <laughs> at each other. Uh, <laughs> we took a physical breather in the game <laughs> and took a yeah. complete mental reset said okay no need to stress we have the time let's do this mm -hmm. yeah yeah michael uh sorry what was the question uh how how would you keep your uh your mentals kind of stable and, and your spirits high during that that last game because uh, that was had to be pretty nerve-wracking sure uh honestly i just think about like what's going on in the moment i don't even worry about what what happened or what's riding on what we're playing with so yeah, yeah. Um, my question is for XNL. Um, so kind of going against you, kind of, kind of had like this one v one kind of setup matchup against Kicks. We saw multiple different, you know, tanks come out from Kicks. I think at one point we saw five different tanks that he picked throughout the series. Can you maybe talk about, you know, just going against such a versatile tank player and kind of what you were kind of going through through your sort of kind of checklist to make sure that you know. You, you know, because because being a tank player is very difficult. 
Yeah, so uh, with the amount of time that I have on the game and mostly tank, um, I, you start to learn the tank matchups. And so just like knowing basically the counter picking the counter pick um, type of play mm -hmm. style. And so I would play a tank if I wasn't, if I was getting diffed on the tank, uh, I knew I needed to switch off. And so I would go to somebody else who works with the tank that they're running. Um, and if not, then I am playing good and they end up switching. And so I just have to find another pick. And so it's just a lot of like knowing what plays well against what in what situations. Right, right. Um, all right. I got a question for Michael, kind of switching or uh, moving off of, of characters and more focusing on, on maps. Uh, we usually don't get to see a whole lot of uh, push in uh, escort, mostly push because that's kind of escort and hybrid are pretty similar. But um, I don't know, how, kind of what was your, your feeling going in and what was your strategies going into some modes that you haven't likely haven't like practiced so much? Um, I guess a lot of it, it was just like making sure we hold the, the sides off, making sure that they don't really flank effectively. And if they are flanking, just keep it, uh, keep that in mind. Really. Mm -hmm. I remember was it on Col Coliseo, that widow kept going behind us. And I was like, yeah, just yeah. make sure, make sure we know where she is. Yeah, there you go. All right. I kind of have one last serious question for the both of you. So escort watch point Gibraltar. They just had the last push. You guys are defending. What what was going through your guys' mind as you were going into that last point, last defense? Kind of kind of talk me through kind of what was going on. And we'll start with XNL. Yeah, so uh, we knew the strat that they originally came out on, and so we were basically playing safe picks. Um, we knew they had the Winston the initial time, so we ran the Reaper. We knew they played the Far Echo going on second point of first push, and so we played soldier um it was a lot of trying to figure out what are they going to run so that we don't have to switch and we can use our ults effectively yeah absolutely nice nice well that's all the questions i got so. okay kunrad do you want to respond uh I forget, what was our ban for the last map because i remember we just completely forgot oh about gibraltar uh and it's like oh no not oh. gibraltar they I picked gibraltar junker town yeah. we did yeah. ban junker town yeah, we we thought it, we were thinking of every map except for Gibraltar, and Gibraltar was probably <laughs> the worst possible pick for us. But we still were able to pull it out. Come on, you guys, for that. All right. So, um, so Wildcat, your your serious questions are done. Yeah, I think so. I think I. All right. So, funny question. Oh, there uh, we go. always love these. So, oh, yeah. uh, <clears throat> gentlemen, what is the best type of milk? And why? We'll start with XNL. I mean, I I know it's a hated pick, but I gotta go with almond milk. Whoa, <laughs> what? That, that is, yes. that is very controversial. Sweetened, Sweetened almond Sweetened. milk. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> it's, it's delicious. Oh my gosh. I know I, I picked <laughs> the underdog, but I mean I I'm going with something pretty similar. I I always go for the coconut milk. What? <laughs> What's it with Nut milk, you guys. Come on. What is Come on. happening? It's not even real milk. Let's go. It's oh. <laughs> no, it's not. Why would you? Oh my gosh. Nuts and water. This is the. This is where you answer like chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah. This is like I was fully expecting like oh I'm gonna do something controversial. I'm gonna pick one percent milk. No, we're not even picking a real milk. Come on, guys. It's got milk in the name. Yeah, <laughs> that's about yeah, it. That's, that's the only right. similarity it has. <laughs> hey, you wanted a you had a wild question. I gave a wild answer. You know what? That's fair. Um, all right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Quartz Mage and XNL for you know a, an excellent job today. So so thanks for coming around and interviewing with us after a stellar game five win. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right, Ryder. Yeah. Any closing thoughts? Um, not too much. I mean, just props to both teams for playing just a, a hard fought <laughs> bare knuckle fight. That made it just extremely fun to commentate and watch for your all viewers at home there. So good job to both teams. Way to show up and play and just have fun. Yeah. It, was, it was awesome to see. It's so, so fun. Yeah. Definitely right now going down is one of my favorite games oh, for of sure. the season so far. So 
With that, you and I gold is going to improve to four to one. Buena Vista is going to go down to two and three on the season. Next week, you and I is going to be facing. Uh, goodness, I had it pulled up here. Um, they are going to be facing uh, Mustang Varsity from Morningside. So mm -hmm. definitely a big matchup there. That team currently pending today is 4-0 and on the season, only losing one map. So with that, for Igneous in production, Wildcat, thanks for joining me in the booth. I'm oh. Jaeger. <laughs> and whoo! Just a barnstorm, a barn burner of a matchup. You and I gold in game five, in a best of five. Three, two on the series. With that, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.